So hi podcast and other episode for you guys. This is the second episode I have been recording on this very day and I just finished recording another episode which was I think 30 minutes long and my mouth is getting a little bit sore and my lips and my tongue but I'm still going to try my best and record this episode for you guys. So as usual, as per the new usual, uh, I'm also recording a YouTube video while I'm recording a podcast because I want to save some time, create more content on more platforms for you guys so that I make it easy for you guys to consume my content on a regular basis because I know that you listen to my podcast as a means of improving your listening as well as your speaking. So today the topic that I want to cover with you guys is how to use Instagram to learn English. I know that many of you guys um, in Hong Kong, well, we are not big and sometimes we even um, demonize social media in a way. We think that it's bad for our learning, it's bad for our study. Um, we do not treat it as, we tr do not treat it as a tool for learning. Instead, we treat it as a kind of entertainment uh, channel. And sometimes on Instagram, all we uh, scroll and all we see and all we, um, well, it's like the scroll hole, the Instagram. So all we see is the pictures of beautiful women and all we see are bikini pictures and all we see are entertainment pictures with comic strips on them, uh, which make you laugh. So I, I know, I, I understand from with all my heart that that may be the impression that many of you guys have uh, regarding Instagram. And uh, well, I have been a victim to this. I have been a victim to the very shallow, sometimes um, utterly on the educational content on Instagram. But as an English teacher, as a language teacher, and as a, a language um, niche influencer, I know also very well that Instagram can be the best place and even if not the best place, a very good place for you guys to start and to step up your English learning game. And that's because you can use hashtag, here comes the first tip, hashtag to search for the resources you need on Instagram. And I do this by, well, I will show you guys on the camera, but I guess for those of you who are listening from podcast, for, from the podcast store, you can understand me just by listening to me. But if in case you have any doubt about how I go about this exactly, you can go to my English channel, English, the not the main channel, not the main YouTube channel, but the English channel on my YouTube to check out how I do it. So I, what I do is simply uh, just um, typing a keyword into the uh, search bar in Instagram and I click the option of tags and then I will go by, go about it by uh, inputting a phrase like IELTS preparation, for example. For example, I'm trying to prepare for IELTS or IELTS as we say it in Asia. And then I will see a bunch of posts here uh, showing me uh, what are the vocabulary that I can memorize for, vocab for, for IELTS. For example, I can see in this post by IELTS tutor uh, underscore 01, it says five alternatives to and. So for example, I want to say uh, and, but I want to use the alternatives to and, I do not want to use exactly the phrase and, then I see the phrase as well as. As well as, this is an awesome phrase that you can use to replace and, right? So the example sentence is there, it's um, Kaja loves singing as well as dancing. Kaja loves singing, singing as well as dancing. Right, so this is the example sentence under as well as. So it's very clear. You can see all the phrases. You can see all the example sentences. It's very clear. So I think it's a good sort of infographic way of presenting the information. The second alternative to and is furthermore. The second, the third one is two, and the fourth one is also, and the fifth one is what's more. And of course, when it comes to Instagram, 
and when it comes to learning English using social media, and in fact, when it comes to learning English by any means, you have to take a look at the example sentence, and you have to not just take a look at the phrase as well as the, but also the example sentence because you want to know how that phrase is used in a particular context, and you cannot just get away by knowing the meaning of a word or a phrase, right? So let's say I want to prepare for IELTS. That's the keyword that I can search for in hashtags. Um, another hashtag that I see is trending and hot will be IELTS vocabulary. IELTS vocabulary. For example, I see that the um, uh, one of the posts I can see under IELTS vocabulary relates to pronunciation. So many of you guys may think that Instagram is a very visual platform and you cannot really hear any native speaker teach you pronunciation, but that is simply not true because there are equally as much video content uh, as, you know, uh, picture content. So uh, you can actually hear how a native speaker pronounced the word, for example, psychiatrist. So let's have a listen to this. Hey guys, so today we're going to learn how to pronounce the words psychiatrist and psychologist like a native English speaker. So I cannot really have a listen to this right now because I'm recording the podcast on this side and so I'm connecting my phone to the mic. But you can see there is this video where a, uh, a native speaker is pronouncing the word psychiatrist psychiatrist this is very useful in the sense that uh, you cannot just listen to the native speaker you can also see the IPA uh, the uh, phonemic alphabets so and that's why Instagram is not just a visual platform by searching using hashtags you can not only come across pictures but video content as well so and that's why i'm a big fan of using instagram to learn english and a good thing about using instagram is that you can ask me any questions about english using the dm function as well and i try my best to respond to every one of them and sometimes through stories sometimes through dm but sometimes i just happen to forget to respond to you guys and sometimes i can't manage to respond to every one of your queries that's just um, the reality I hope you guys don't mind so and the another good thing about uh, using Instagram to learn English is that these social media platforms well as evil as it may seem or it may sound is actually designed to hook you right so um, once you subscribe or once you follow certain accounts put certain accounts about English the platform will actually recommend even more content in that regard to you uh, so let's say you, if you have decided to learn English and follow English related content the next day you see even more content about English and as you scroll you will learn even more English right so and another good thing about it is it seems to serve like a kind of constant reminder that you need to learn English right when I'm not around you when you're not following my content once you've followed any of the accounts you are reminded constantly that you need to learn some English every single day and that's how you learn best you learn every single day best because um, when you learn every single day you consolidate what you've learned the, the day before and I think that's one of the best ways that you can learn I try to be become a better writer by writing every day I try to become a better speaker by speaking every day and I try to become a better podcaster by recording every day there's just no way around hard work and that's just how learning takes place uh, learning takes place when you work very hard when your brain is just working and when when you are practicing like I am so that's how I learn English through Instagram I search for vocabulary cheat sheets and I search for pronunciation videos on Instagram and listen to how native speakers say a word and take a look at word lists and pronounce and read the example sentences out loud and try to understand the example sentences and read them aloud again and again all over again you have to repeat um, reading as repeatedly read a sentence in order to improve so that's just how language learning works right I have always taught you guys to do this repeatedly pronounce or repeatedly read 
allowed a sentence. That's how learning takes place. So I hope that you have learned something from this episode. If you have, please do tag me on Instagram uh, and maybe make a screenshot of this podcast episode because it would mean the world to me. I have uh, people writing to me by email saying that they have learned a lot from my podcast and it makes my heart uh, burst like a confetti bomb. Uh, It makes me so happy just hearing from you guys how I have helped you guys learn because I love helping you guys learn using these content and Um, It's what I do these days, Uh, even when I'm working from home and my office, I can help you guys uh, from afar with this content. So see you guys next time and in the next episode, please give me a rating, a five star rating hopefully on the podcast store. See ya!